Welcome back to, well I say welcome back, this is like our first, this is like a revamp, reboot of, yeah, a, yeah. of a podcast that we tried earlier yeah, yeah, this year. Like, we yeah, kind of we've actually it. given it a name, we've given it a bit more of a theme and a bit more fun. Is it fun? We just ha- we're just Lego now. I think we're kind of just Lego now. Yeah, we're yeah. kind of just Lego now. Yeah, we're just chilling out. Mm. In... But our name of our podcast now is Just Our Opinion. I think that's... Dan came up with that name last night at about 11 o'clock. Yeah, it's pre- pretty fitting, I guess. It's pretty fitting. because it, it basically means, um, like, we have an opinion about certain things. You may have a different opinion about certain things. And that is all just fine. You're and today, a- we are going to talk about our opinions on Venom 2018, starring Tom Hardy, and also Tom Hardy, as Eddie Brock and the alien... Puddle of Goo. The ultimate superhero buddy cop movie. Yes. <laughs> if you don't count any other superhero movie ever made. <laughs> Anything that doesn't require a team up. By, yes. By Kevin yes. Feige. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. Well, I rewatched this movie last night with my partner and um, I hadn't seen it since it came out in the cinema. I think I sort of seen bits and bobs throughout the year. You know, the, the fun stuff. The fun stuff. Because there is a lot of fun in this movie. But... You know, I actually found it a lot more entertaining two years later. Oh. Wait, is it two years? No, it's three. No, three. Years. Three years now. Holy shit. Yeah, because <laughs> COVID happened. COVID happened. Fucking COVID. All right. Where do you stand on this movie, Daniel? <laughs> now, like I, like most movies, well, yeah, I say most movies, but yeah, there's, um, Venom does have uh, rewatchability, which is very 100%. strange. 100%. It, it's very odd to say, especially considering like how poorly it was received when it came out. Yeah. Like Originally, I kind of thought, well... A like, poorly received movie that earned a billion dollars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I went in with this movie thinking I was going to hate the first um, 45 minutes because I thought that's when all the boring stuff is. That's which is, the, is kind of true. I originally thought that as well. It was kind of... But... Yeah. It's more of the first 10 minutes are pretty boring. The second it has that six-month jump, things get interesting. Oh, fair point. Because Eddie Brock becomes like, you know, he's, you know, um, you know, spoilers for the movie. It's been out for three years. So, so if you haven't watched it, then go watch it, then mm-hmm. come back to this. Yeah. Um, he's a low life basically. Lost his job, lost his fiance, lost pretty much everything, and he's, you know, trying to just get by. I mean, he's pretty accurate to the actual character. It of is Eddie quite Brock. actually, yeah. I think he does. Tom Hardy is the whole reason you watch his movie. Yeah, like he's an unintentional sleaze bag at his job. Yes. The only thing that's really missing is the fact that obviously the whole Spider Man aspect isn't there, but that that's not the point. But to serve the movie, this did really well. Yeah. Um, but. What I can say is, going back to the whole Tom Hardy thing, everyone else in this movie sucks. Oh yeah, I can admit that. There is no relationship between him and Michelle Williams nope. at all. Uh, not that I'm, you know, fully invested in. Not that I'm fully invested. In. I'm here to watch a, a, you know, a big black monster. Yeah, that's, you're, that's... Esen- you're essentially watching the blob. Ex- essentially, yeah, yeah. But um, other characters like... Uh... Do, do you want to know the, the character I've got the problem with the most? Oh, go on. Which is a big shock. It's, well, it's it's um, Riz Ahmed, who plays Colton, Colton Drake. Drake. Yeah, yeah, that's where I was going to go with as well. He Cause... seems... I- I've got a fun fact that I'm going to tell you about in a bit. All right. We're, g- we're going to do a little trivia section. Okay. Uh but yeah, he's just he's his motivations throughout the whole movie. Oh, it's so like, crap! You just you kind of sit there thinking, what? Really? You think you you want to merge so you can go into space? Is yes. that it? Yes. I mean, that's just fucking weird. Actually, one thing I did discover: the only other character I kind of liked in the movie was Michelle Williams' new boyfriend. Oh yeah, I think he's funny because every other new boyfriend in any other movie is a dickhole. Yeah. And this guy actually gave a shit about the ex the ex boyfriend, yeah, which you don't get, and it's so like you know I'm, why? I'm trying. You know why? Yeah, because he's a doctor. Because he's a doctor, he's a good and you doctor. know it's really hard for you know to make a character like that the bigger man in yeah. the picture. You know, to exactly. rise above and actually yeah. help out. You always think the current boyfriend's meant to be the the absolute mm. dick. I actually love the fact that he's coming back in the new one as well. Oh, yeah. I think that is hilarious. That little bit in the trailer where he slaps him he in slaps the face. He slaps him in the face. Yeah, that <laughs> absolutely killed me. Uh, yeah, I'm happy for you. No! In terms of Venom himself, like when he embraces the symbiote, what is a positive for you? Hmm. Uh, visually, he looks great. Oh, 100%. That's for sure. Uh, Venom looks 
big and mm -hmm. hulking and like just scary, mm. which is kind of the point. But at the yes. same time, that's also contrasted by the fact that he has all like this like weird banter with Eddie Brock. Like, mm -hmm. Obviously, he calls him a pussy because he won't jump out <laughs> of a window. Actually, you're going back to that. Like where you said that, like what's your favorite parts about the whole Venom aspect of it in general? Like my favorite part is the build up. Like you know, you know I did enjoy that. Actually. Like the night, the day after, where he starts going absolutely ape shit. Yeah, yeah. The lobster tank. The lobster tank. <sighs> ah. Absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, but I think the movie doesn't really pick up until he genuinely gets the symbiote. But you can kind of expect that from yeah, this kind of movie. Yeah. But it is genuinely funny. It has genuinely funny moments. Oh yeah, definitely does. What did you think of the action in this movie? There isn't much of it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was thinking that as well. The apartment fight scene is probably the best fight scene in the movie, and yeah. the bike chase. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. The second Venom physically comes out, the SWAT fight is pretty interesting, I guess. It's okay, but then they throw smoke grenades and you can't see shit. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. But I'm going to be honest, I rewatched the Venom versus Riot fight this morning. Oh, God. And it's bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. Yeah. Like, if you think back to the Incredible Hulk when he fought Abomination, it's two CGI characters just beating the shit out of each mm. other. That's so much better. Yeah. And it actually felt tangible because obviously it's they're two evenly matched things and you know they're beating the shit out of each you, other. But you know how I would compare the fight uh with Venom Riot? Go on. Um, you know when you used to play like old PS2 games? Oh god. I'm not talking about the cutscenes. It didn't look like a PS2 cutscene. No. It looked like the actual game itself where you're button mashing. Yeah. And you're trying to spam the villain and they're mm -hmm. trying to spam you. Yep. It looked exactly like that. Yeah. They just there's this weird physics about it. Mm -hmm. You just kind mm -hmm. of think, oh god. No, I, I, there's a point in that final fight when they just start blobbing about. Yeah, that I, that, that was weird. And that looks really weird. Like I hope to Christ for the sequel make the action actually physical and you know actually feel like a solid either punch, scratch, or not just two blobs fighting yeah. each other, you know? And, like, you can tell that, like, how people are becoming more desensitised by CGI because, like, I watched the ending of Venom and mm -hmm. watched that fight. Yeah. And I thought that um, the final bit with Venom in Spider-Man 3 looked better. Oh, really? Where... Oh, hit, what, when he's, like, with he the tubes? Yeah, with the... With, oh, yeah, with yeah, the, um, no, I no, I get the, that. The I get, rods, I, I, and he's, I, I, and he's I, I, like, squirming and going absolutely crazy. No, no, I get that. I get and that. I just think... That, that, just that does make a bit more sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm not judging anyone for, like, bad CGI or anything like that. We yeah. understand, like, um, like uh, timing issues and schedules and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, I mean... I mean, other than that, all the CGI in the movie is actually pretty decent. Yeah, it's not too um, bad. And it was also really good to keep Venom at night uh, because... I think if it was in daytime, you'd see a lot more of the problems. Mm. But yeah, one thing me and my girlfriend spoke about. And this isn't. It's, this is not a positive of the movie. Go on. Until Venom and Eddie have that chat in the woods, Venom is a badass. Yeah. He finds out Riot is here, and then he says the line, "I am kind of a loser like you." That does not feel right. Yeah, it and it fit. is such a sharp left turn of character hmm. for Venom that didn't make sense. Yeah, you know, there's it, no, there's no. It just what, felt what, out of place. Mm -hmm. What you said about build up and the fact that you know Eddie is Im not embracing Venom, but you know, feeling sick and eating everything, um, that had nothing. Hmm. There was no sign at all that Venom was a loser. Yeah, until he just blatantly said it out of exposition. Like, I can admit, I, I, like, with all the problems that it does have, I still find a lot of rewatchability with, with Venom. I don't know what it is. It just has this... It's a guilty pleasure. It is a guilty pleasure, mm, for sure. Which is why I'm excited for the sequel. Mm, because it seems like it's taking everything that worked with the first, put it in second. Yeah. One thing I do want to point out about... This movie is very dumb. Oh, yeah. And... Super dumb. It's expressed by that. This Carlton Drake guy is obsessed with going into space, Yeah. Why do they all think everyone's a five-year-old and every time they refer to a shuttle, they say rocket? Yeah. That sounds like every... That talks down to your audience so much. It, it makes the, oh, that's like yeah, ask, that's like every time a movie says, oh, we're going to use an EMP and then they have to explain what an EMP is. 
Everyone knows what an EMP is because of a fr- every fucking movie out there that has an EMP, EMP in it. Yeah. yeah. That's the majority of our thoughts on Venom. That is actually the majority of our thoughts, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and it's it's currently late September. So what are we thinking about? How, how much are we anticipating the release of, of uh, Let There Be Carnage, directed by Gollum himself, Mr. Andy Serkis? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. In Andy, we trust. In Andy, we do trust. Yeah. I mean, even early stuff have, have been saying that it's Yeah, that, it's that's, there, was a, there was a screening in the UK about a week and a half ago, mm. and it's just getting praise. Oh, yeah. But it was for fans. It wasn't for press. It was for fans, and which I think is quite good. But then I think they're going to go to Twitter and yeah, I always feel give like, out all the spoilers. I always feel like test audiences need to be f- the the general public, not your high not level your studio critics. heads because then they'll yeah. go in and change things yeah anyway. not your critics mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. if your audiences don't like it then you can make some changes mm-hmm. but if yeah mm. critics they can be cutthroat so oh before we actually talk about the sequel mm-hmm. let's talk about Carnage in the first movie what do you think of Woody Harrelson's crazy Annie wig now uh, <laughs> now the, the freaking uh, Annie perm the Annie was, perm was um, it was a weird surprise I'll give it that mm-hmm. um, I mean I mean, there's so many movies where Woody Harrelson just doesn't have hair anyway, so it was just it was a shock seeing him with hair. Yeah, it was. But um, it's even a shock watching him in all the promos for the new films have hair. But yeah, I'm, but I'm, I'm not complaining. Thought, yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, no, I'm. I, I mean, I'm. I was very eager to see him as um, Cletus Cassidy um, when it was announced that he was going to be in the movie, but with an uncredited role. You just um, know exactly. You, you knew you exactly. Knew, yeah. You knew he was going to be Carnage. Oh, also, one thing I want to point out. What are your thoughts on the Eminem song? Oh, it sucks. It does suck. I mean, I've had this conversation with so many people at work. Like, we were literally standing around one day just thinking, oh, Eminem's so cool, he's great. But what's his worst song? And I literally just went, Venom. Like, we're in no way Eminem fanboys. Yeah, but Eminem's still great. He is. He's 100%. He's he's an amazing artist. I mean, have you watched 8 Mile? No, I haven't. Watched 8 Mile. I'll watch 8 Mile. Great movie. Um, But yeah, Venom's... It's just... Oh, it's just noise. That's all it is. It's it just is. noise. It's the same word on repeat for the chorus. Yeah. You play you, you play that song around Venom, he'll freaking shrivel up. Yeah, he will. And he'll, and he'll disappear. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Right, just to wrap some things up, on fandomwire.com, there are nine unknown facts about the Venom movie. Oh, wow. Would you like to know a few? Yeah, go on then. It's been in development hell since the 90s. A Venom movie was in development hell ever since the 1990s. As a matter of fact, Venom was supposed to be the first solo superhero movie of its type. Long before Sam Raimi's Spider-Man hit theatres, producer Avi Arad forced Sam Raimi to include Venom in Spider-Man 3, of which course, everybody every, knows. Everybody knows, and it was a bad decision. Mm-hmm. The planet of the symbiotes almost appeared in the movie. That would have been interesting. That would have been pretty cool. I mean, there were five symbiotes on that bloody rocket. Yeah, I know. I said rocket, for fuck's sake. (laughs) Uh, On that bloody ship at the beginning of the movie. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is about the the first Venom movie, I I was full on expecting them to, like, get in depth on how powerful the Clintar race actually are. Now, here's the the, the fact that's going to really get you hyped and make you want to punch some Sony executive in the face. Okay. Pedro Pascal was original, the original choice for Carlton Drake. Oh dear. What do you mean, oh dear? He probably uh, would have actually been better. Yeah, but like, I wouldn't want to see my my baby boy um, <laughs> Pedro um, acting that cringe. The Mandalorian would have been a symbiote, though. I know, but final thoughts on the Venom movie. So it's just. Um, it's just a fun thing for an afternoon. It's if, the agent of averageness when yeah. it comes to modern comic book movies. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, there's movies from comic book movies from the 80s and 70s that I think hold up better than this. Mm. E.g. Superman and Batman. Well, yeah. But it doesn't mean this film does not have its charm. No, of course that's, not. That's what I'm saying. I thought this podcast was going to be more funnier than I, I, I gave it credit for, but no, we've just been quite nice to the film. We actually have. I, I, was, I thought it was going to like rip it, but yeah. like, you know what? After thinking, we were kind of just like, yeah, you know what? Mm. It's, it, it's, it, it's, it's, kind of, it's the kind of movie that when you're bored and you've got nothing else to watch, you're scrolling on Netflix and it's just there. Well, that was uh, just our opinion episode two or one, depending on how you're joining us. Uh, I don't think we're going to keep these numbered. We're just going to 
rattle off a yeah. bunch of random stuff. Well, this was um, yeah, just our opinion on Venom. Uh, hopefully, we'll do another one soon with the sequel. Yeah, if if, if um. Well, let us know if there's anything you want us to have a rant about. Maybe a movie, TV show, or just anything. And if you want to know what our opinion is, or even if you want to share your opinion on the Venom movie and your excitement for the next one. But thanks very much for listening. This is Tom and Dan. We'll see you at some point. Bye.